Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Donatello. Welcome to an introduction to solutions for erectile dysfunction and or sexual enhancement. I'm the clinic director for the Center for Wellbeing here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. In the next half an hour, I'm really excited to bring to you what you've been looking for if you suffer from sexual issues, namely erectile dysfunction, because probably you've been searching for answers and there's been things that have been happening around the world that have been kind of kept quiet here because Viagra and Cialis is so big in what we do, right? Everybody knows about that because of advertising. But we found some other ways to, right? This is gonna be a two-part talk here. The first part, we're gonna talk about a solution that's been used in Switzerland for some time. The second part is what we're gonna talk about. It's happening here now in the US finally using stem cells, okay? So the great thing is it's drug-free and it's surgery-free, okay? So how did I get here? Well, I'm a clinic director for a regenerative medicine clinic named Center for Wellbeing. What we do is look for cutting edge ways that are proven, FDA cleared, safe enhancements for erectile dysfunction. I am a retired chiropractor. My background is basically in looking for different ways using clinical nutrition and functional medicine to help people get better. And we have really hit it when it comes to erectile dysfunction because this works. Okay, so we are in Portsmouth, right near the hospital. People fly in from all over the country to New England. For those of you looking at this from further away, we're about an hour north of Boston, okay? So this is the big thing. If you suffer with this, it's almost scary that you don't want people to know. Privacy is a huge aspect to what we do. That's our number one thing. When you come into our office, we work with stem cells for people's knees, shoulders, hips, and backs. So a lot of people come in, you, there's, they don't know what you're getting. So it's not something that a lot of people are gonna know what's happening if you come into our office. It's perfectly set up for that. So your privacy is our number one concern. Our team consists of a family nurse practitioner. Her name is Rachel Marino. We have a great registered nurse, Ken McDonald. He has years working at Hitchcock Hospital and Leahy Clinic in ER. Excellent guy. He and his wife are both RNs. They do a great job. Uh, Ken works for us now doing the pressure wave therapy that we're gonna talk about. And then again, we have another great team of people that I just am so happy and fortunate and grateful to be around. So let's get into what we're gonna talk about. In this webinar agenda, we're talking about two proven options to help erectile dysfunction. Again, drug and surgery free, non-invasive. Many people get off Viagra and Cialis after they utilize this therapy. But they're simple in-office procedures with little to no downtime. Now, you wanna shut this off if you have active prostate cancer or if you have a penile implant we can't do these therapies, okay? So I apologize for that, but that's where we're at. Okay, so active prostate cancer, penile implant, those are two things that we cannot go forward with this. So what it comes down to, if you suffer from erectile dysfunction, you may seem like you're this island and you're all alone and there's nobody there to help you. You don't really talk to the guys about this, right? Your wife may not even know. Maybe you're sneaking Viagra and Cialis and this is a problem that's getting worse and worse. Well, you're not alone for sure. If you are 40 years old in the US, you have a 40% chance of having ED. 50 years old, that's where I'm at. I approached 50 this year. 50% chance of having ED. 60, 60% chance. And if you're 70, you have a 70% chance of having ED. Meaning 70% of the people in the US, over 70 men, have ED. This is almost e epidemic, right? Everybody has it. Huh, it's just horrible. So what's going on here, right? Well, we have answers. And the number, there's two powerful options we're gonna talk about. Pressure wave therapy or sound wave therapy is the first thing it can help men with ED and Peyronie's disease, and also stem cell therapy injection, which injections may sound a little, uh, we'll talk about that. Not everyone has to do that. So it's a combination or one or the other, okay? So let's get into the first part of this. This is called pressure wave therapy. It's also known as extracorporeal shock wave therapy or ESWT. It's known as acoustic wave therapy. It came from Switzerland. It's now becoming very popular in the US. There's over 2,000 of these machines being used for pain in the neck, back, shoulders, hips, knees but we're now starting to use it for the penis because we can get blood flow back and get better nerve function. So that's why we have this here now in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So what is pressure wave therapy? First and foremost, when I looked at the research as far as what, out, what is out there, I wanted to make sure that this was based on studies that were solid, peer-reviewed studies around the world. I found over 40 of them. So what we're doing is we're using high frequency, low intensity sound waves that improves blood flow to the penis. What it does is this. As those vessels become smaller, as they get into the penis, you can get micro placking, little pieces of fat that occur on the side of the walls. They kind of stick to the walls of the blood vessels. This causes that to break up. And in, the pro in, in doing that, it also creates what's called neurogenesis. So we have angiogenesis, we get better blood flow because the placking's gone, and then we get neurogenesis. And what you see here 
And the slide is better nerve conduction, better nerve stimulation, getting new nerve flow. So what we do is it takes just six treatments, usually over three weeks. We can go up to 10 treatments. But what happened was I talked to doctors all over the country and I said, what is working? How long is it taking to get people better? If you are unhealthy, and we'll talk about that, 70% of the people do very well. 80% of normal, healthy people do well. And if you aren't fully, if you have any ability to get um, an erection with Cialis or Viagra, probably 90% of those people do very well. So this is called pressure wave therapy. And this is what the wand looks like. Now, does it hurt? I've had this done to myself. I've tried it out. Nine out of 10 people, it's not, comf it's not really super comfortable. It's not like you're gonna go, yeah, that feels great, but it's not painful. One out of 10 people may feel some discomfort and we can use lanocaine with it to kind of numb it up prior. So it's not a painful procedure whatsoever. So who can it help? Well, those who have erections that are too soft for penetration, or if you have trouble sustaining erections, if you can't get an erection to begin with, this is for you, or men who want what they have to work better. Quite frequently, we have men in their 20s and 30s that do a few of these treatments, and they go back in time. They go back to where they're 18. And we hear that with, even with people that are 60, 65. You can get erections like you had got when you were 18 to 25 if this works properly for you. So the benefits. Improved sexual performance, right? Increased sensation to the penis. We hear that over and over again. More spontaneous erections. Midnight, morning wood, throughout the night. You know, we see that a lot. Better orgasms. Now, here's the big thing. Increased girth and length. You may have read in, the, read in the back of magazines over the years, you take this pill, you can get a, a bigger penis. And there's no such thing, okay? When we say increased girth and length, we're talking about where you were when you were fully functional, fully hard. What happens is most people go through a stage where they're now soft, they're like a water balloon that isn't quite filled with water. So you're kind of about a, an inch smaller and about a half an inch less around. So once this works and you get a full erection, what you have is an increased girth and length by about a half an inch circumference and an inch in length, which is pretty cool, right? Get you back to where you should be. So clinical research, really, really important. I want to touch base um, on this study done in India. What they did was this. They looked at 60 men and they completed the study. And this is placebo controlled, double blinded. They had another group of men that were the placebo. 78% of those people that were unable to achieve spontaneous erections hard enough for penetration were now able to have an erection. Pretty cool, right? The treatment was well tolerated. There was no issues with it. It's very safe, and none of the men experienced treatment-related discomfort. Really, that's what comes down to it. It's not a problem when it comes to adverse side effects. There's none, all right? this is, which is really great. So I love this study. 78% of men all right, who could not get erections, they got them. Some of you may have Peyronie's disease. If you have it, you know what it is, and you're looking for answers. That's where scar tissue forms, and you, if you get an erection, it's very painful. This can break up that scar tissue, so I'm just throwing that out there for those of you who are looking for an answer for that. The European Journal of Urology looked at 14 studies from 2005 to 2015 using sound wave therapy, and they found 833 patients that had used this therapy. The vast majority of those people did extremely well encouraging results. And these are all double-blinded, placebo control, similar studies. So this is one of those things that really makes us excited about this therapy. So there's a lot of studies. You can go on our website, and we'll show you at the end, centerforwell.com. There's just so much stuff out there that we need to learn about, and we have in our office here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So lots of journals. This is well-documented. So why have you not heard of it? It's pretty simple, because phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors, right, otherwise known as Viagra, made by Pfizer and other drug companies, $1.2 billion these companies made last year with the sale of this drug. And to be clear, this is a miracle drug. 20 years ago when it came out, it helped so many men obtain erections, but who wants to pay $60 for a pill? And that's, that's what it costs if you don't have insurance, right? Who wants to take a pill an hour, two hours, three hours before your wife or girlfriend is ready? And who knows if she's gonna be ready, right? We don't know that. And then you have an erection and you're stuck and it's just a bad thing. Not to mention side effects, right? So you haven't heard about it because the advertisements aren't there. This is a, a, a country that's controlled by big pharma. But people are hearing about it more and more. So is it new? It may be new to you. If you live in Switzerland, it's not new. This therapy has been around for 15, 20 years all throughout Europe. So the big question is how long does it last? The studies show two to three years. Now, some people, if you're really bad, you may need a treatment every six months, once a year, and we're talking like a 10-minute treatment. So 
Again, how long does it last depends on how you take care of it, right? If this is your lawn and you take care of your lawn, it's really green and healthy, great. If you don't take care of your body, you may look like this lawn inside, right? If you're an alcoholic, if you drink a lot of beer, if you smoke, if you do drugs, if you have a poor diet, those are people that may not last as long because the placking is starting to come back and the nerves start to die off. So it depends how healthy you are as a human being. Are there side effects? Yeah, there are. There's a thing called urethematosis. You know what that is? That's redness in the penis. And of course, if we're doing this pulsation effect on it, there's going to be blood flow that comes back to it so it might get red. But no itchiness, no pain. It's really wonderful that way. So just urethematosis, some redness to the penis. How fast do you see results? Anywhere from one to 10 sessions. It's really cool. A lot of people right off the bat notice a difference. But usually around three, four, five, six treatments in the first three, four weeks, we notice a change with most people. So what is your investment in pressure wave therapy? It's $3,997 for a six to 10 visit protocol. I wish insurance covered this. It does not. It's too new in the United States. But for that price, to get erections that actually work, to get to the root cause of the problem, we think that's a really good deal. Okay. So what's next? You have to come to the office. We have to see what level of health you are at. What level of blood flow, more importantly, what do you have going down there? We have three arteries that we have to look at using a vascular flow study, using Doppler ultrasound. It's kind of neat. We can see how much flow, we can hear how much flow is actually going through those arteries. We scale it from a one to four, four being the most. Our registered nurse does this. And uh, it's something that it'll give us an idea where we are. And we can also see afterwards where you've, how far you've come along. So what does a consultation Doppler test cost? Well, this is what happens. You come in our office, you meet with me. You discuss your areas of concern. You talk about strategies, cost options. We want to answer all questions. Bring your spouse, maybe not bring your spouse. Um, maybe you don't want them to know about it, but it's always good to have someone else there we can talk to and, and bounce questions and answers off of. Um, so for $199, it includes the Doppler ultrasound with our registered nurse and then sitting down with me to determine your protocol. You know, do you just use pressure wave therapy or do you use the next step, which is stem cell injection therapy, which leads us to part two of this talk. All right, now we're into part two, and this is the most exciting part of this talk because we're using stem cell injection therapy to create what's called angiogenesis, making new blood vessels in the penis. We are one of the first offices in this country to offer this therapy, and we're really, really excited about it. I wanna let you know our office specializes in stem cells. This is how we got into this for injecting joints, right? Hips, knees, backs. And what happened was we would infuse people, put some of the cells into them, and they would get erections. They'd have knee pain, and they'd come back in eight weeks later and say, I'm getting erections at night now. So I started to look around the country, and I found out that some offices are doing it, but the rest of the world, they're really starting to see results with this. So we're using umbilical cord stem cells. These are the best, most safe cells we could find. And let's talk about what this is, because an injection of your penis, it may seem like, oh, right? But we went through training with an orthopedic surgeon in Palm Beach, Florida, and he's done over 20,000 injections. We flew people in. We watched this procedure being done, our nurse practitioner, Rachel Marino, and I, and she learned how to do it in a way that is super safe, and it's really not painful. The guys didn't say they had any pain. It was one injection. So here's what happens. These umbilical cord stem cells, they have three properties. They're highly anti-inflammatory. They modulate your immune system, and they regenerate tissue. Right? But the biggest thing is this, they are angiogenic, meaning they form new, new blood vessels, new small vessels to the penis where we can get blood flow to get back into the penis. And we have better blood flow, we have more erections. So people tend to think that blood vessels are like pipes in your house, they're not. They're pliable, they're active, they're dynamic. So like the tree here, we're trying to create new branches of these blood vessels and it really works and it really works quickly. So here's what happens. We're using allergenic cells. These are donated umbilical cord stem cells. They're from a healthy baby, healthy mom. You may have heard about it. People are doing it all over the country. There's been over 30,000 injections in the last year. There's no potential for adverse or allergic reaction. Why? Because the cells are undifferentiated. And what does that mean? The immune system has not tagged them yet. They're clean to do whatever your body needs them to do. They your own would work if you had enough of them, but we're gonna put a lot more into you in a simple, fast injection, real easy to do. So when it comes to your own stem cells, there's two problems. Number one, we produce less of them as we get older. So if you look here, on the left, that circle, larger circle, that represents looking into the bone marrow of a newborn. Now, to be clear, these are donated cells, 
As soon as that baby's born, that umbilical cord, it's adult stem cells. There's no aborted fetuses, there's none of that. This is adult stem cells that are super, super healthy. So one out of 10,000 cells in the bone marrow of a newborn is a stem cell. As we get a little bit older, look what happens to the right. One in 100,000 cells of a teenager is a stem cell. Look all the way to the right. One in two million cells in an 80-year-old is an umbilical cord stem cell. So you don't have enough. That's a big problem. Number two, the stem cells we do produce as we get older, they're tired, they get exhausted. So watch this. One cell in that newborn umbilical cord stem cell splits every 28 hours. So in one month, we have roughly a billion cells to modulate the immune system, to create new blood vessel flow, right? A million cells. Mr. Tom Brady, he's 40 years old, approaching the end of his career. Why? Because in each month, he only produces 32,000 cells from one. His cells take 48 hours to split, whereas the new, newborn, that bo the umbilical cord cells take 28 hours. So in one month, again, to reiterate, a billion cells, Mr. Tom Brady, 48 hours, you only have 32,000 cells. You're not producing enough of them, which is why once you get to be 40, 50, 60, that's where ED starts to become rampant, all right? 60 years old, 65 years old, one cell takes 60 hours roughly to split and to do its work. You have 200 cells at the end of the month, so not a lot. You're kind of stuck, right? So this is why we do these umbilical cord stem cells. So how is stem cell therapy performed in our office in Portsmouth, New Hampshire? Well, our nurse practitioner, Rachel Marino, she is licensed in the state of New Hampshire. She has primary care status. She can do injections, she can do all this work. She's very good at it too. I think she's one of the best in the country. It's one simple quarter inch injection into the dorsum of the penis. So if this is the penis, right into the dorsum, the part that comes up to your, your belly, right there. And she puts that in, it's really easy. It's super sterile, obviously. There's a local numbing agent so you don't feel anything. It's relatively painless. You may feel a little bit of a, little bit of a prick, no pun intended, sorry. But it's a 10 minute procedure. It's an easy procedure, and the, amount, the benefits you get from it are off the chart. You only have to come to the office one time. With the pressure wave therapy, you have to come six to 10 times, right? So that's the issue. Some people may not want to get this done. We have to figure out what's best for you. Maybe we'll do pressure wave first, and then do stem cells. Maybe we won't touch stem cells, because pressure wave's gonna work, and we'll try that first, right? Maybe you're traveling from afar, and you don't have three weeks. You just would get an injection of stem cells, okay? So, what happens? Stronger erections, definitely. An increased sensation in the penis. The, you get an enhanced sexual experience. That's why we're here, right? Again, increased girth and length. If you are more flaccid, we're going to get the effect of a water balloon, putting more water in it, right? <clears throat> get bigger. Results vary based on your health. So the best people to get results are going to be the healthiest people, right? So if you are drinking a lot of alcohol, two, three, four drinks every night, let's say three, four drinks every night, let's say if you smoke, if you do drugs, if you have a high sugar diet, if you have a lot of autoimmune disease, those are people that may not get the best results. Or you're probably going to get results, but they're not going to last as long. And that's not to say we can't get results if you have those issues. It's not like we don't help people, right, that drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes. It just takes a little bit longer. So safety is our number one concern. Privacy, that's pretty close, right? But safety is important. How do we know this is safe using umbilical cord stem cells? Remember before I said that your cells are, these cells are undifferentiated, the immune system hasn't tagged them yet, and they modify your immune system, they make your immune system work better? Well, for years, if you have a lung or a kidney or a heart transplant, and you get somebody else's tissue, and your body rejects it, you know what they do in hospitals? They inject you with umbilical cord stem cells. They've done over 30,000 injections with people that have had uh, transplants that have gone bad, and it helps save that tissue. It modulates your immune system. They found through the years that these people don't have any issues. So this is very clean. The FDA wanted to make sure that there was no problems with this. These are, these are not cells that are dirty. Um, these are cells that have been through a rigorous amount of testing, and we're very confident uh, based on the history uh, that we've went through with this over the last 30 years that these cells are very, very safe and very healthy. Okay, so the word experimental, that comes up all the time. Is this experimental? I think you'd have to look at your definition of experimental. I would say to a certain extent it is, but everything is experimental. We're the first people in this country using this. It's not for everybody, I get it. Some people want a proven technique. This is something that you're looking at that you, your neighbor probably hasn't done it. You may be the first person to do it. I would say this, this isn't for everybody. But if it makes sense to you, and it does from a physiological standpoint, there's studies on it around the world. Swedish study, this is one of the ones I looked at. We're not the first people to do this. 
They looked at 21 people and they said, all right, you have erectile dysfunction, let's put these stem cell in, cells in you. Eight out of 21 people that had absolutely no function, six months later, a year later, they had full function back. And 13, the other 13, out of those, there was eight that had full function, the other 13 out of the 21 had some improvement. So this works flat out. So what is your investment in stem cell injection therapy? Well, it's $4,997 for the injection procedure. Again, I wish insurance covered this, but it doesn't. So again, what's next? You probably saw this before. It's the same thing. We have to do a consultation. We have to do a Doppler test. We have to figure out which option is best for you. Is it pressure wave therapy? Is it stem cell injection therapy? Or our platinum program is a combination of both. And I will guarantee one thing, that's the future. If we can use the pressure wave therapy to break up microplaquing and to create neurogenesis and get new nerve function, and we can do the stem cells to create angiogenesis and make new blood vessel flowing, that's the future. So between those two therapies, there are answers for you. You don't have to be stuck taking Viagra or Cialis or talking about implants, you know, penile implants and all these other things. This is the future and it's happening right now in our office here at the Center for Wellbeing in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, info at centerforwell.com. Call our office. We have great people, um, David and Katie and Kelly and Christy and myself. Um, and we have Rachel and we have all these great therapists that are super smart. Um, they can help you and give you all the answers. Give our office a call. Come in for a consultation. We're at 603-380-9159 or go to centerforwell.com. There's a lot of great information on there. So once again, I'm Dr. Jeff Donatello. I hope this was really informative and it gives you hope that there are answers for your erectile dysfunction. Have a great day.